Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Hugh. Uh, you can call me H Bomb, mostly because I kill Asians. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna change the pace a little bit. Uh, so, uh, let me tell you a little about myself. I'm half hate. Um, fuck. Half Irish, half English. Those people don't really like each other, right? Am I right? Yeah. And, uh, it's kind of like being half Haitian, half earthquake. Those people really don't like each other. How many mass murder jokes can you fit into the first minute of your set, you? <laughs> Answers two, I'm done. Uh, I also realize I'm a lot like cocaine. If you realize, I'm both white, both grew up in the 80s, both great at parties, and when you're not doing us, you're thinking about doing us. <laughs> the only difference is I'll let your girlfriend blow me for free. <laughs> I, I don't do cocaine, no. I don't do cocaine for the same reason Tom Cruise won't try butt sex, is that we're both afraid we might like it too much. <laughs> you get it this side? Because he's gay. <laughs> right. So, uh, I, I'm more into Xanax, that's my drug of choice. That shit's... That's a malicious drug, right? Anyone do that? Yeah, a lot of smiles. A lot of people on the mood adjusters tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, Xanax, it's that shit's like walking around with a delete button on your life. I mean, that's like the TiVo of reality. You just want to turn a bad memory into a no memory, you just clear the cache and you're good. <laughs> See, I'm prescribed to Xanax, I just broke up with my high school sweetheart. Thanks, we weren't dating a long time, that's, she's 16, that's my pet name for her. <laughs> We got into a big fight in public, it was, it was rough. It was, uh, she called me a pedophile, I said, that's a big word for a middle schooler. And, uh, I got escorted out by security, and I said, uh, you know what, I've been kicked out of much nicer Chuck E. Cheese's than this. So, uh, I like to play a little game, are you smarter than the people who protect fifth graders? <laughs> I mean, I've been, I've been single, so dating's hard, right? No, I'm asking you. I have no problem. I'm gorgeous. Uh, you know, I've been. Um, I mean, dating's easy. I mean, all women are sluts. That's <laughs> it. All right. So, would you have sex with a guy for a hundred billion dollars? What about ten million dollars? Yeah. Yeah, we're about ten dollars. <laughs> so basically, we're just haggling over a price. <laughs> so, we uh, so we uh, I know some girls they're like, no, I'm not a slut. I'm not. My wife well, got a four loco and six pack abs. It says different sweetheart, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see how the night goes. <laughs> I, I can have any girl I want, honestly. See, we'll go back to you. I, could, could I have sex with you tonight? Of course I can, I'm stronger than you. Uh, they, they go out and they, they just expect a guy to fall in love with them. They play hard to get all night, and then they, they, they expect to find their soulmate at bars. I'm just hoping that I find one girl drunk enough and stupid enough to have sex with me once. <laughs> so I've been like partying a lot in Jersey because that's where the stupidest girls are. And I, if you think about it, Jersey's weird though because bars close around like two o'clock, and Jersey girls don't get attracted until three. And, <laughs> Do you, guys, do you guys watch New Jersey Shore, by the way? Clap it up. Fucking hate you. Shut up. You are ruining America 
America and turning it into a mediocrity of bad morals and, and low intelligence, and I just can't stand it. And the other day I was talking to a comic a friend, and he's like, you, you got to lay off on the Jersey Shore. It's like a beautiful train wreck. <laughs> so I said, I have never seen a train wreck, let alone a beautiful one. <laughs> but I really do hope it is like a train wreck, because in the end, everyone will die. <laughs> Seriously, uh, how would you get AIDS faster? A threesome with Snooky and the situation, or Magic Johnson and a porcupine? <laughs> so, I was in Jersey. I was I was throwing my best game out there to this girl. I said, you know, I threw my best pickup line. I use pickup lines. I could get away with that. So I said, do you want to go halves on the baby? <laughs> For some reason she took the bait, I don't know. Bro, hitting all this works. So, uh, I, she obviously didn't come home with me for my money. I'm an amateur stand-up comedian and a blogger. I have a website, hammerfisted.com. We deal in mixed martial arts, not gay porn. <laughs> we're, we, we don't, we're not really good at what we do. We've been in fights with three professional fighters, little flame wars on the internet. One guy had one leg. Can you believe that? I'm six foot tall. I appear taller because I'm on stage. People respect me. Two, 215 pounds, about tw uh, twisted steel sex appeal. Guy with one leg comes at me. All you gotta do is li remember, Karate Kid, sweep the leg, Johnny. That's it. So, she wasn't coming home with me for my money. She, she probably had more guys exploding her than Israel. <laughs> I'm usually a little more sympathetic on the Jews. I can't even watch Schindler's List with the AC on. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. There's a lot of anti Semites out there. So, I don't know, I brought her home. I told you I'm not, I'm not very good. My net worth is about four beers. I, I brought her home to my parents' house. I got caught having sex. The look of relief on my parents' face that I was with a woman was just so hurtful. I got rattled, and I'll leave you guys on this, because this is going to just put it over the top. Um, I said, fuck it. I have to go downstairs and do a little, you know, Shake off everything. Go down to my fridge. All we had to drink was O'Doul's. Yeah. I said, fuck it, I'll drink it. I'll sniff some paint in the garage later. I don't care. <laughs> but drinking O'Doul's is like, uh, it's like going down on your cousin. Oh. <laughs> sure, it tastes the same, but it's fucking wrong. <laughs> my name's Hugh Murray. Have a nice time. You have issues with the jury.